Well, it's National Stress Out Week, folks, and Dr. Lori joins me with advice on how to manage your stress and anxiety and feel better. It's always great. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for joining me, Dr. Lori. Absolutely. Yeah, so we all get stressed out from Absolutely. time to time, and a lot of times we think that stress is a bad thing, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. So can you talk exactly, you talk about what stress is exactly? So, Chad, stress is an emotional state that we feel as a result of demanding circumstances. Okay. And yes, you're absolutely correct that stress can be good, some stress. However, when we're pushed be not beyond our comfort level, then that's when we experience stress overload as well as what we all know is being stressed out. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm sure that everybody has got a little bit of that and they understand. We're getting closer to the holidays, so we're going to feel a lot more. Uh -huh. So how does stress affect our minds and our bodies? Well, you know, stress sends a cascade of chemicals throughout the body. And what can happen is, as a result of that, we have digestive problems. We can experience uh, fatigue. It can elevate our blood pressure. Mm -hmm. We have rapid heart rates, um, poor sleep, irritability, and interesting enough, stress can be responsible for our inability to lose weight, which seems to be our really? national problem. Yes. No kidding, as, I yes, didn't know that. As a matter of fact. So, wow. but we also need to be mindful that stress, um, sustained stress over a long period of time can compromise our immune system, resulting in more colds, more infections, uh, as well as some serious disorders. Wow. So we need to handle learn how to handle yeah, we need stress. to learn how to handle it for exactly. sure now i mean of course uh, there are endless numbers of stressors things that cause stress in our life technology is actually a a, a big one that exactly. that is actually and a lot of it is designed to to alleviate stress but technology is actually causing more stress is that right i believe it is yeah and here's why because today we have a number of technological advances that consumes our already limited number of hours of the day. Right. So we now have voicemail, mm -hmm. email, text mail. <laughs> There's no escape from it, right? Is what you're saying. Exactly. Yeah. Twitter, mm -hmm. LinkedIn, and Facebook, and don't forget our postal mail. Oh right. So I did e forget about that. Yeah, I mean, you forgot that. Sometimes Didn't you even you? think you're like, oh, we still get hard copy mail. Exactly. Yeah. So even if you're not using all of these applications, there's the uh, personal feelings of inadequacy mm -hmm. when you're not able to keep up. Right. So I think we right. all must decide what in technology we can minimize mm -hmm. uh, in order to avoid some of the harmful effects that stress is doing to us. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And prioritizing that. I'm, Absolutely. I'm, I'm sure that if you. You know, email, absolutely. we got to check. A lot of mm -hmm. times that's business. But I'm sure that checking your Facebook friends and their status updates, maybe not so. The average college student checks their phone mm -hmm. 60 times a day. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Six zero. 60 times a day. Yes. Wow. You should be stressed about studying. <laughs> Unless about Facebook. Exactly. All right. Well, so what can we do to cope with stress and, and manage our well-being? Well, one of the things, and I've said this before, the first thing you can do is learn how to breathe. Mm -hmm. When you're stressed, you breathe from the chest and it's shallow breathing. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like is for you to do deep belly breathing. And what that does is that improves your oxygen and calms down your heart rate. So that's one of the things. Daily meditation as well as prayer. 20 minutes of silence mm -hmm. can be a stress reliever. It can quiet the mind. Aerobic activity. Walking, something as simple as walking can be a stress reliever. And my personal favorite is laughter. Yeah. Personal favorite. So what I suggest is that we create a laughter log of funny occurrences. Oh, very that cool. That we can That's a reflect back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that in those stressful times will help to get us through. Great. Yeah. Well, so if we, we try all these, they're just not working for us, when should we start seeking professional help with our stress? Well, you know, Chad, stress can have significant uh, consequences with anxiety mm -hmm. as well as depression. So if you've attempted all of the lifestyle changes that mm -hmm. we've talked about here today and um, you are still having disruptive sympt symptoms that are interfering with your daily living, then you must seek professional assistance with a clinical therapist, even a physician, because you may require some form of medical intervention. Okay. Yeah. And how can our viewers contact you? Because this is very important stuff. Like we said, holidays coming up. Uh -huh. So 
I, I got a feeling your phone's going to be ringing off the hook. Well, I will tell you, at this point, at this time, I have minimized my clinical practice to mm -hmm. focus on corporate wellness programs. Okay. So it's very possible that you may see me in your workplace right. teaching some of the things that we've talked about today. Okay, yeah. great. And we can find you at uh, wdrlaurie at prodigy.net. Perfect. Is that right? We want to shoot you a quick email? Absolutely. Fantastic. Yes. Well, Dr. Laurie, I really appreciate this information. Very timely. And I think the laughter, that's a great way to, that's a great yes. way to send it off. Always a pleasure being here, Chad. Yeah, thank yes, you. Yes, thank you.